salutations, blurbs. You got a T tracks, T T tracks to T racks, DB meter, just in from Germany. Another thing from Tuman, and another thing. Well, that's the company. The person that this is from is from Anders Inga Jensen. Thank you very much, the patron saint of audio devices. The dude is awesome, and uh, this is actually the. That's the second kind of one of these rack-mounted meters that he offered to me. Uh, actually, <laughs> he offered this one, the Spectrum Analyzer. First, I was uh, I had just gotten one in. I'm like, oh, I've already got that one. But he's like, hey, I've also got this other one. And so this was also featured on Techmon at one point. And I, th I think that's why he picked it up. I don't know. Either way, thank you very much, Mr. Jensen, for sending this in. This should be fun. Hooking it up to, I'm uh, probably going to put it in my main synth setup since uh, I've already got the Spectrum Analyzer in my MIDI rack mountain. It's just got these colored LEDs going across here. Looks pretty cool, I think. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, I'm just guessing. Let's just open it up. Let me find the, uh, here's the dumbest knife I have. Let's open it up with that. There we go. Okay. The box is already pretty crushed up during shipping, so I don't anticipate keeping it. Features. I'm glad it has them. Two channel line level indicator with LED chain sensitivity separately adjustable per channel. Cool. He did say, uh, Anders said, they probably needed to calibrate it a little bit just to get it doing what it's supposed to. Because it has a demo mode for LED checking without a signal. That's pretty cool. Rack mountable, of course. There are detachable ears. Yeah. I look forward to using the TT racks. Mm -hmm. All right. We got a little power supply in here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to use that. Not without an adapter. Uh, I have one somewhere. Actually, I probably have one of these. Just a little uh, 12 volt, 0.5 amp, eight watts. Or is that six? Yeah. Just a generic little power supply. No big deal. Hmm. Snacks for later, and here we go. Look at this. I quite like the way that looks. It's very utilitarian. Nothing terribly flashy, although <laughs> inherently it's going to be flashy because that's kind of the point. But yeah, we got these uh, little adjustment pots right there. Those little guys. That's pretty cool. Well, let's get it plugged into my main synth rack set up and uh, try it out with some LGR audio. All right, so I'm just gonna put it in this 1U slot free in my main synth rack. And I'm just uh, hooking up the output of the compressor that I have down there to the input of this. And then the output of here is just passing straight through to uh, another cable so I can do uh, just like direct capture of things, how I normally have the compressor just going straight to that cable, but now it's going through here. Uh, and then the other output of the compressor, ooh, that was cool. Yeah, the other output just goes down to my main mixer down here and then to the speakers and all that stuff. And uh, I do have a third party power supply, which I guess works, because <laughs> it just lit up there. See that again. Yeah, neat. So that's just a little 12 volt thingy here. Same basic specs as the uh, Euro one and just had a US one, so we're using that. Okay, well, let's see what we're gonna do in terms of adjustments. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get it screwed in there. All right. Okay, I'm just a little bit of sound over here, just a nice basic kick, maximum volume. <laughs> yeah, that's maxed out. So I can see why this needs some adjustments. Yeah, a little, little tiny screwdriver needed, or just a, uh, just gonna use an end piece of this one. That's about right, just the very max right there. Yeah, more or less. Okay. Cool. 
All right, so let's test it out with a little synthy line here. And I'm gonna turn it down with the other knob. <laughs> well, okay, so eh, it may not be the most useful thing ever. Because uh, obviously, I still, hear, uh, still hear that quite a bit and it's showing nothing. I mean, you know, that's fine, I guess. It's dancing lights. It's pretty much all I want. I'm not using this for measurements, so that's, that's why I've got this and that and that and that other thing down there and this other one over here. Let's see what this dot thing does. Okay. Well, that's what that does. <laughs> it's cool to look at, a neat little novelty thing. Uh, yeah, but maybe just not the most actually useful for figuring out any kind of actual levels. But I do like the fact that it is, uh, it's got a range of sensitivity there that I think I might be able to use, maybe not here, but in one of my other recording setups where I have my mic, and because it is such a large display, I might stick that in that little rack instead because uh, sometimes when I'm recording voiceovers in there with my mic set up, it's a thing where I can't quite see the little teeny tiny VU meter that's on my hardware compressor in there. And it's just nice to have a visualization, like it might be nice to just stick that over on another shelf or something so I can see my voice levels just quickly at a glance to be like, okay, things aren't going insane. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot the demo mode. You just press this little button in the back. And uh, that, that's all that does. <laughs> it's technically a demo of the lights. All right, uh, enough of that little ditty. Uh, so yeah, let's listen to one of my tracks that I've been kind of just dabbling with for a little while and um, I've put together an arrangement of it for this just as a demo so we can look at some neat lights and that will be it for this blurb. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Anders and enjoy this little bit of a track.